Hey y'all, it's another chit chat video while I moisturize my hair. I just did a video on, I don't know how I'm going to upload this stuff. I just did a video on a DIY leave-in conditioner. I made, um, use some, some shea butter. I forgot I had bought all that stuff from Amazon. Girl, I went to the back and got so excited. I'm like, I got stuff. Girl, wake the hell up. Yes, you got stuff. <laughs> Look, as soon as I said I won't be buying any <coughs> any new products, why did Camille Rose come out with a line around the world? And one of them um, is like two items per collection, which is, I wish they had a lot more to be quite honest, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, at least have three, girl, at least have three. But for, from what I saw, there was two products per collection does that make sense and it's sold exclusively exclusively at sally's beauty but girl they have a hair cholesterol so i'm like yes i can't do anything but look at it <laughs> i'm trying to eat the waistline so we ain't gonna do that um yeah y'all so what's going on girl so get you some snacks y'all know how it is we gossip about what's going on in these YouTube streets. I let you know, you know, some personal stuff. We talk about some other stuff, you know, you know, random as hell. We may get off subject a lot, because that's just how it is. I did write some notes down here. What does Christine want? Y'all, Christine has been going the hell off. Christine is my coworker, for those of you who don't know. Ciao. She is going off. Um, okay. This hair is still hair. This is this is Texas hair. In more ways than one, girl. Alright, y'all. So first thing up, what's going on in these YouTube streets? So I've been seeing, you know, recommendations and suggestions. You know, I, I like to bring those up. What what are you guys seeing? I'll let you know what I've been seeing. I've been getting recommendations for watching <sighs> Um, people who are denouncing their letters, meaning, you know, they're in a sorority. Let me back up. A, a, uh, historical black sorority, mostly sororities. I haven't seen a lot of fraternity, uh, frat boys come on and denounce their letters. And, you know, they're making this video on why they are denouncing it. A lot of the times it's because behind religious reasons, which I have nothing against that. Um, but I'm like, girl, you you gotta know every AKA within a thousand mile radius is gonna come up on here and let you know how much they are dedicated to their sorority. There's nothing demonic about it. And you know, that they're gonna fight it to the T. So like I've told y'all before, you gotta be ready to, <laughs> you gotta be ready to deal with the backlash when you talk about stuff such as, you know, denouncing your letters. Um, I'm not gonna really get into all of that because I know I have some, some of you are in sororities who watch my channel and I don't want to go down that road, especially on my channel. But one thing I will say is that, this is one thing I will say, and we're gonna move on. I feel like as a, first of all, my best friend was a Sigma and within a year of pledging, she was done. She's like, this is not for me, I'm done. I never wanted to be in it in one. Um, at my school, <laughs> there was all of them except for the, the, the Deltas. Deltas were over at Texas Women's um, University. While I was there though, both the AKAs and the Kappas got put on punishment for hazing. So this is how I feel about all of that. You know, people who decide to um, denounce their letters. I feel like if you were convicted by God, and if God has shown you the light, girl, the way, and you really feel like in your heart that it's not for you, go ahead, sis, I support you. Go right ahead. You know, everything isn't for everyone. So I, I understand that those who are in sororities, you know, they fight hard for their organization, but at the end of the day, you can't tell someone about their personal journey. You, you can't. You don't know what that person has gone through, okay? You don't know what they have gone through with their chapter, what they call a sister chapter. And so, 
it's really hard to sit back and shake your finger at someone. You don't know where they're at, their walk at with God, you know, their relationship with God. So yes, I've been seeing a lot of flat iron videos. Like, girl, more power to you. But Miss Jackson does not have the arm power. I don't have enough alcohol in there. I have no desire to flat iron my hair myself. That sounds country as hell. I just don't. Now, if someone wants to come over and do it, if Mark, if Miss Arlette wants to knock her heart out and do it, fine. But just the process itself, it, it takes too long for me personally. Um, so I guess my point is, I don't even really care to see those videos. I don't even know why they're they're suggesting them. I guess it depends on a number of things. You know, a couple of videos are trending and all that. No, I would not be doing it. Now there was another video I saw. I cannot remember the sister, but she had like all of her hair, her entire head was for Z. <laughs> yeah, Z. It was beautiful. Her hair was beautiful. I love that dense, like you gotta get a pick. You, it, it's the type of hair where you part it and it snaps back. Beautiful. So she was getting her hair, um, I guess straight in her flat iron. And I couldn't tell 100%, but I think the girl, the woman was Dominican. Cause she had a, she, she had a um, Latino accent, Latino accent, excuse me. But she was ripping her hair. Have y'all seen that video? I can't even remember the name. She was literally ripping her hair. She was using the wrong type of tools. Y'all, y'all gotta be careful when you go into those type of shops. Yes, some of them are really good. I know Michi Wichi, she goes to one. Michi Wichi, um, <laughs> That's her YouTube name, I'm sorry y'all. Mitchy Witchy, I like her. And she has some natural hair videos. I think she's 3C. Um, and she goes and gets her hair done at the shops. But this is my thing, you gotta be real comfortable because they use a lot of heat, they use high heat. And that woman was basically tearing her hair out. And I mean, the end results were great. Um, but at what cost? You could not get that done on a routine basis or she ain't gonna have no hair. Hell no. Watching on TV. So, <coughs> we are gonna talk about naturally every after. Nat, what did I say? Did I say it right? Naturally every after. Is that how you say it? But real quick, um, excuse me, y'all. Woo. AHS American Horror Story. I told y'all. I, I told y'all that I can't be dealing with this type of mad madness. So the latest one I wanted to get into because it's like in the wall stuff and quiet as it kept. I like movies like that. I, I like that genre of movies. Like my favorite movies are Apocalypto. Is that how you pronounce it? Like the Book of Eli. I like that. I love that movie. But Denzel, yes. Me and Dan, he blind too. <laughs> <laughs> Blind and fine. That's how I like them. I love that movie. I love the zombie movies into the world movie. I love one of my favorite movies is Children of Men. I love so I love I love that genre is what I'm I'm saying. So my expectations for this was yes, end of the world, yes, yes, yes. So it started off exactly how I liked it. Started off. They're getting, the sirens are going off. I'm like, I didn't even know, do we have sirens in Phoenix? Cause I need to know this. Sirens are going off and you know, one of the characters get a call from her dad. It was like, you, your ass need to get on a plane because a nuclear bomb is about to go on, um, drop on LA, I think it is. And so I'm not gonna give all, all the stuff y'all because I'm gonna let you know I ain't gonna watch this stuff. In a minute, hold on. Uh, so there's this woman, clearly she's part of the elite. And so her her dad, her family calls her, they're saying bye, they're crying. And so she has to get to the, to the um, airport to get on this plane to take them to this bunker. Then it cuts to her hairdresser going into this big, beautiful mansion. And there we see the queen diva of them all, Miss Joan Collins. I was like, yes, Joan, come on with the burnt champagne. <laughs> Joan Collins from Dynasty. She's sitting up there like, this is fake news. <laughs> um, so, okay, so this is why I'm not watching it though. It looks like it is a mix of Coven and Murder House. And Murder House was the first series. So let me tell you something. I watched only, of course it's been the first two and that's all I'm gonna do. First two uh, episodes. I mean, they have everything in this 
current uh, series from snakes, which I don't do snakes. They got zombies, which I kind of do zombies. I, I like zombies, but not mutated zombies. Zombies eating horses. You got that man in the spandex from Murder House. Animals coming back to life, rejuvenating. You got witchcraft. It is too dark for me. Too dark. You got cannibalism. Yeah, it's too dark for me. It's too much. You know, uh, Kathy Bates is, is uh, Bishop Part 10.0. <laughs> Bishop is the android from Aliens. I'm like, Lord, uh, Kathy Bates is Bishop? Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. Do you know what I mean? It's too many dark elements. So anyway, yeah, I watched that. I did catch the latest episode of Married to Medicine. I really... I, I couldn't watch it all because I was so upset about Contessa with her father who has prost prostate cancer. And you guys know I spoke about my father who was recently diagnosed. He is really good. He is seeking treatment. But that hit way too home for me. So I was like, I I'm not going to be able to do this either. So, Napoli Ever After. At first, I didn't want to watch this because... I don't like Sanaya Lathan. From Sanaya, I get this entitlement, brat, um, just, I don't know y'all. And this was, this was before I knew she did whatever she did with um, Denzel Washington. And I didn't know that her father was this Hollywood producer or director. So I just, I just get that feeling from her. Is she an only child? I just, I don't know. I just, and there's nothing against only only child. You know, there are some people who are only children. They don't act like that. But she comes off as a grown-ass brat to me. So, of course, I've seen movies that she's in. But I didn't want to see anything new. But since this had to do with natural hair, I'm like, why not? Let me look at it and I can talk about it in a chit-chat. So, did I like the movie overall? Yeah. I think the ending was... Uh, rushed. And, I, and it was... I don't know y'all. It, it wasn't what I expected. Um, so let me let me talk about what I did like, okay? I did love the illustrations at the beginning, the opening credits, first of all. I do like Lyric, who was the hairdresser in the in the movie. Um I was I looked up his information, just look up his biography. He has a strong jawline. Like his jawline was giving me uh West African teas. I was like, is he from Ghana? Because that's what I'm feeling right now. I I I feel Ghana. I feel some rice. So I checked the <laughs> I check his bi biography. He's Canadian Jamaican. And he has a little accent. You you can pick it up every now and then. He is beautiful. He has beautiful teeth, that strong jawline. He's a beautiful man, but he's Jamaican. So he's in the movie, um, Lyric. I forgot his last name, but his first name is Lyric, okay? Um, and he's playing a, um, a hairstylist who's all into natural hair. So her character is this big shop in a marketing firm. She is engaged, well, eventually engaged to this doctor. However, she initially thought he was going to propose to her because she came up as this perfect woman. Her weave is perfect. Her hair is absolutely perfect. She goes to bed. She wakes up looking perfect. She has the perfect body. She doesn't eat a lot of food. She eats salads. Everything's perfect. However, the two years they've been together, he really doesn't know her. You know, she has a perfect job. She's walking around. She's switching her hair. And so, and when he doesn't propose to her, you know, she has this moment. She breaks down. Like, you know, you would, you would think someone would. And she ends up after a drunken night shaving her head. She wakes up. She's like, what the hell did I do? And she goes to work and she's walking around and no one is looking at her. No one is giving her the intention, attention like she used to get when she had the long flowing hair. Now, this is what I will say because I had a moment in my natural hair. Oh, I won't call it natural hair. I had a moment in my life where I had that type of mentality. And this is one of the reasons why I actually went natural. Um, my friend Wanda got me hooked on weave, girl. And so I would do ugh, God, the worst type of weave. I would do the glue in weave. I would, y'all, just horrible. I would glue in tracks. I would do, you know, the weave on the stockings, you know, the quick weaves. Um, and then I would take half of my hair. I mean, just absolutely madness what I was doing to my hair. I would take half of it, cut it, do a long asymmetrical bob, and I was coloring my hair too. So I, I had all this damage to my hair, which is one of the reasons why I actually went natural. So 
we would go out and I'd be like, I gotta get my weave together. You know, my, my girlfriend wanted, I said, let me know. I gotta go get me some bundles, girl. You just keep, we both gotta get our weaves together. So we would get our weaves together, you know, 14 inches, 16 inches so I could layer it. And so when we would go out and I put my, my weave in, I was like, I feel transformed. And I had it in my head to where men are not looking at me unless I have my weave in. I'm like, I, I know that men are looking at me differently because I have this beautiful long hair, but that is not what it is. And you're gonna see it towards the end where she builds up confidence with her natural hair. And it ultimately boils down to your self-esteem and how you carry yourself. Cause let me tell you something. I know I'm still working on my body, but I can walk into a room with my natural hair and demand attention. People, some people, not everyone, some people would turn around and look at me because I'm confident in my skin. I'm confident with my natural hair. The character wasn't confident when she had her head shaven, and so she was walking around. And so when people weren't looking at her and she wasn't getting that attention like she used to get, that really messed up with her um, her self-esteem and she got insecure about it. So there was one part where she went to a group where they thought she was a cancer survivor and the um, uh, the speaker was like, girl, you better rock that. You better rock that shave head. So that's what she ultimately decided to do. So overall, it had a good message. I love the little girl in the movie. She was absolutely adorable, but it's not something I would watch again. You know what I mean? It's just not. And then they show, you know, she, she goes through the path of her new growth and um, she gets back with the, cause she, she ends up dumping the uh, potential fiance. She ends up getting back with him. And one point he, she's gonna meet his parents and he's like, can you do something with your hair? And that's when she came to the realization, okay, well, if you don't like me for my hair, my hair is me. What do you mean do something with my hair? And I know, had a young lady contact me and she said that her I think it says it was your husband or significant other they did not like her natural hair um, and now that I think about it I don't even think my husband saw my hair that much when it was that short but he never said a damn thing he never said anything well meaning that I was putting on my hair bald my head bald because I was putting on a short wig for for work like my job never even knew it and I started um excuse me I took off the wig once I had about two inches of growth <laughs> new growth kind of like what she had but he my husband was never like can you do something with that Child, I will go warm up some grits in a minute. Don't even, don't even try it. So yeah, the movie was okay. There were some parts where I cringed. Um, there was one part where she got that blonde hair, and she's like, "This is my f, this is my f me hair or f you hair." And I'm like, okay, you gotta be very careful what you project. So sure enough, she got some man who just wanted to do that to her because that's what she projected, all right? So there was one part I really enjoyed. The lyric guy basically um, was starting a, a hairline called You, I believe is what it's called. And he basically was saying how, you know, one of the excuses that a lot of black women use is that their natural hair is too hard to manage. That's why they slap on a wig. Let me tell you something. I don't know what y'all doing, but and I, I've said this over and over. It's not that your natural hair, it's a couple of things that factor in. It's not that your natural hair is hard to manage. You're not using the right products, one. You're doing way too much. Um, you, all you need is a simple regimen, some simple products, and you're good to go. When my hair was relaxed, I was doing a lot more, are you serious? Especially since I was in Texas whenever it rained and that was another scene when she was afraid about it raining. Whenever it rained and my hair got wet, the entire process of getting my hair back to the relaxed, straight look was forever. Every week. Granted, the only part that's really, really time consuming right there, with, right now with my natural hair is detangling. That takes forever before so that my wash day from actually washing my hair to putting it up in big twists takes no more than an hour. That is it. When my hair was relaxed, granted I didn't have to detangle, oh my gosh, wash, condition, deep condition, blow dry, flat iron, style, and then I had to style my hair every day. Curl it, curl it iron every day. 
with natural hair I can literally put my hair in a style like you guys saw before I started to moisturize my hair and I'm done for three days straight take it down moisturize put it back up I couldn't do that when I was relaxed. I spent way more time on my relaxed hair. Now, I spent way more money on my natural hair, which I don't have to do that. That is my option. You know, there's no reason for that, you know? So y'all, I cannot believe we're already in October. Lord have mercy. Now, everything, once Halloween comes, everything's gonna go full speed real fast. It's gonna be Thanksgiving. We all gonna be looking over our plates, looking at dressing and, you know, turkey, I don't eat turkey though. I really wanna do like some type of fish dish or main course. I'm like, I know y'all thinking, why the hell are you talking about Thanksgiving? Because, like I be telling y'all this stuff, that the holidays are coming right around the corner and boop, two or three more videos, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's Thanksgiving. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to show you. Now, I did do a, um official video on this. I'm going to show you how moisturized my hair is using this DIY leave-in conditioner. And let me put down one twist. Do you see that? Do you see my hair? Let me be still so y'all can actually see it, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you can tell, my hair is brown. Can you see that? It's a very dark brown. But yeah, anyway, y'all, um, that is it. So this is another example about me not doing too much. Once my hair is done and I'm moisturized, I can do something like that. Push this down, pin that up, pin these up, and that's a hairstyle for like three or four days. So that is it, you guys. I'm gonna do something with the back of this so I won't scare the natives in. That is it, thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all my new subscribers. Take care, bye.